Hey, advisory students. My name is Mr. Smeeds, and I'm an AP Environmental Science and Human Anatomy teacher at Grand River. The curriculum team at PrepNet asked us to give some advice to high school seniors heading into their first year of college here. And so I have two pieces of advice for you, and they are directly related. The first piece of advice is to start taking a little more seriously the advice of your parents and other trusted adults in your life. And so I know what you're thinking, hey, your piece of advice is for us to take people's advice more seriously. Um, and it is, it's, it's really incredible. Every year that I get older, I realize how much more my parents and my teachers and professors in life knew than I realized at the time. So as a teenager, it's really easy for the words of parents or for teachers and other adults in your life to go in one ear and out the other. Uh, you may be tempted to think like, what do they know about what it's like to be a teenager right now? They didn't even have TikTok back then. And so while that's true, I think that the experience of growing up and going to college or going to a different you know, career path or post high school opportunity is more universal than I've realized. And so parents and teachers know more about this experience, I think, than you may realize at the time. And it's hard to have that perspective as a high schooler. Um, but if you can start listening to that advice and taking it with a little bit more uh, seriousness, I think it will really benefit you because I'm sure you have people in your life that care about you and that have advice for you and that want you to listen to and they want what's best for you. And so that would be my first piece of advice is really uh, listen. Listen when the people in your life who care about you most explain to you what they think is a good idea for you. Now, my second piece of advice is related. My second piece of advice is to try to go into college or go into whatever awaits you after high school with a clear plan for where you want that to lead for the rest of your life. And I know that's a lot of pressure. So you're telling me at 18, I have to decide what I wanna do for the rest of my life. And no, you don't have to decide what you wanna do for the rest of your life, but you do wanna think about where you're headed and the trajectory that you're on, the path that you're on. It's really easy to just go to college, to accept the loans that you're offered and just say, oh, this is what it takes to be successful or this is what I'm expected to do or this is what I'm supposed to do. It's also really easy to continue working at the job that you currently hold and maybe you get a promotion and maybe you're starting to make more money and it's really tempting to say, oh, this might be what I wanna do forever. And what I wanna do is challenge you a little bit to think of where you want your life to end up 10, 20, 30 years down the road. And it takes some foresight, it takes some thinking about what is the degree that I'm currently pursuing lead to in terms of a career? What does the job that I'm working at right now and the wages I'm making right now, what does that look like 10 years in the future, 20 or 30? And so having this ability to kind of look at the future and ask yourself if you are headed towards something that you think will be a rewarding, fulfilling use of your life's time is a really important thing to do. It's hard to do at 18 uh, or 19 or 29. It's, it's, it's a challenging thing for everyone. But I think that the more you can start to think in those terms, take the advice of those around you who have been through this before, and also to think about where you wanna end up and how you want to spend this time that we have in life and this opportunity that you have to do something really neat and something really fulfilling is, is important. So that would be my advice, again, listen to the people around you and try to have a plan that's concrete and clear and will take you towards a destination worth pursuing. I hope you guys have a great rest of your senior year. I know it's been one that's un unlike any other, but I do think that a lot of this adversity is going to prepare you guys for life in a way that no other generation has been prepared for. So I wish you the best and I can't wait to see the cool things you guys do in life.